your dad got locked up, you were in the military, you come out, and you hook up with Tupac in, in Oakland, in the Bay Area. Um, where was Tupac in terms of his music career at that time when you guys, you know, touched base again? Pac was, um, uh, he was still running around with Ray Love, uh, DJ Diz, and his uh, rap group, Strictly Dope. That was like his first rap group. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, it was a few months before, you know, Pac, me and the family linked back up mm -hmm. once I got to the Bay. So as soon as I got to Oakland, I started working on my music and then, I linked up with Tony, 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 and okay. I, I recorded Feels Good. It hadn't came out yet, but wait, wait, it, it you're was, on, you're on Feels Good. That, that's I, well, yeah, man. Well, I, I never put that together. <laughs> yeah, Hold man. on, no, but you were wait. Mercedes the, the mellow. mellow, yeah, yeah. I thought wait, no one knew that Pac and I was brothers though. Okay, See? well, but but you, but you weren't calling yourself Mo Pre, you were calling yourself Mo Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah. Well, that, that's yeah. why I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, so so yeah. that's my pass. You know yeah. what I mean? That's my pass. Because right. 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 I was in the Bay. You know I mean? I was in high school at the time when that song came out. I remember I had the CD yeah. and everything. Oh, okay. Yes. So you hook up with Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah, I'm the first one in the family with a hit record on the Yeah. Record. And so, um, <laughs> but Pac was coming up. You know, we was happy that we, re, you know, linked back up. He was in the game. I was in the game. And we was getting ready to smash. So was um, it was it like a... Like a big eye-opening thing for Pac when he saw his brother suddenly with the video on MTV, you know, wearing a little suit, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was, I was doing it. I was, on, we were number one. That record was number one. That was a great record. It still is. So it was, you know, it was inspiring. Pac was already rapping. He was already creative, but he hadn't made it yet professionally. You know, and um, he was inspired. I wanted him to make it and come up. And so we was grinding together, both in the bay. Then he linked up with Digital. Yeah. And and uh, they took him on tour and, you know, the rest is history. Okay. So he hooked up, he hooked up with Digital Underground. And he was a backup dancer initially, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, and then the same song came out. That, yeah. was, that was the first time he was... Featured. That's his first. His first record. song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's a video and everything else like that. So what what kind of happened next after after that came out? Because because uh, I remember there was he had a record. He had his first album come out. I, I forgot how much time passed between those. It was a couple of years, right? I mean, uh, Pac and I both were in a blessed situation. Yeah. You know, by him being with Digital. He was uh, increasing his his visibility, his, his his status on the music scene, but he wasn't fully put on until same song, yeah. right? He still didn't have a record deal, right? He was just but features. he had he, yeah he was you know he was, he in was the music doing video. it. Yeah. People niggas knew him now. Yeah. Simultaneously, you know, because a lot of stuff was coming. to through digital and um, you know they were being asked to do a lot of stuff. The Juice movie came, ah. you know, by Pac being part of the part of digital, and no one else knowing that he had been to school of performing arts in Baltimore, who had actual training. Mm -hmm. And big shout to my man Shock G, who recognized that you know this should happen. You know, Pac should get that shot too. You know. Oh, oh, so Shock G kind of helped him audition well, for the movie and stuff like that? Well, you know, Shock, Shock was the leader of the group. Yeah. So, you know, um, they would discuss stuff, and, and Pac and Mun went out for it, and, you know, Pac got, got Bishop, and it was, <laughs> it changed the game. Juice came out before his first album? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I, I remember so. it was right around... You know what I mean? Like you're thinking about this. See, people thought, uh, people saw him in same song, yeah. so they assumed he had a deal, or and he was with Digital. That yeah. there was a lot, there was a lot going on there. He was, you know, he was about to do, it, but he ain't have a deal yet. Yeah. He had a movie, and as soon as he got the deal, you know, the move, the, 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 the as soon as he got Juice, the record deal came. 
Oh, okay, because everyone was looking at him at that point. Yeah, yeah, and it was already in the works. He was, you know, the, he was also in the movie um, Nothing But Trouble with Dan Aykroyd. Right, and right. Well, that same song was Demi on, Moore. Same song was from that soundtrack. Exactly. Right. Okay, so, so Juice came out, mm -hmm. and at that point I felt like everyone in hip-hop knew who Tupac was. You know what I mean? Because he was the star of the movie. I don't know whether he was billed as a star, but he was he was a star. <laughs> oh yeah, he was a star. You remember the picture? You oh yeah, the actually, poster? yeah, the poster it was just Tupac, <laughs> Tupac and them. <laughs> Everyone else is kind of far back. Yeah, he had the ill roll. That was a that was a good look. I Facetimed him. Facetimed me. You know what I'm saying? We talked it out. Hold a grip. I had a grudge. He had a grudge. You know what I'm saying? We killed to put in the middle of the flow. It's over with now. So we working. Bow wow. Do I have to go through this? I'm gonna plead the fifth. See, here's what happens. You have to understand. This is like player failure. Player failure is when you call out people and then other people get afraid you might call them out. 